Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, trapezoid uh, A, B, C, D as you can see in this uh, diagram such that the area of this uh, purple uh, triangle is uh, 21. The area of this uh, blue triangle is uh, 28. The area of this uh, green uh, triangle is 35. And finally, the area of this uh, yellow triangle is uh, 14. And furthermore, the base of this uh, trapezoid uh, CD is uh, 7 uh, units and the other base AB is represented by X uh, units. And now our task is to find the value of this uh, base X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And let's recall the definition of the trapezoid. It is also called a trapezium, a quadrilateral with at least uh, one pair of uh, parallel sides. As you can see, A, B, and C, D are parallel to each other. And here's our action plan. Let's recall the area of a trapezoid. Area equals to H times A plus B divided by 2, where H represents the height of the trapezoid. A and B are the bases. And in our case, uh, our bases are x uh, and uh, 7. And now our task is to calculate the value of uh, this uh, height uh, h represented by this uh, red line that passes through this uh, point E. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, perpendicular uh, red line passes uh, through these uh, yellow triangle uh, as well as uh, this uh, blue triangle. So therefore, let me go ahead and call uh, this uh, length uh, in this uh, yellow triangle as uh, A and this uh, length and uh, this uh, blue triangle I'm going to call uh, lowercase uh, b. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, yellow triangle now. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to half times the base uh, times the uh, height. And in our case, the area of this uh, yellow triangle is uh, 14. The base is uh, 7. And the height is represented by lowercase a. So therefore, let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So area is uh, 14 in our case uh, equals to a half times uh, our base is uh, 7 and our height is represented by lowercase a and this on the right hand side 1 divided by 2 times 7 could be written as 7 divided by 2 and now let's go ahead and isolate a by multiplying by the reciprocal of 7 divided by 2 that means I'm going to multiply 2 divided by 7 on the right hand side and uh, on the left uh, hand side as well and here we can see that they cancel each other out. So if we simplify the left hand side, this is going to give us A equals to 4 units. So thus our this A value turns out to be 4 units. In other words, the height of this yellow triangle is 4 units. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this blue triangle now. And we are going to calculate the value of this uh, height uh, B of this uh, blue triangle. And now let's recall the area of a triangle once again. Area equals to a half times base uh, times height. In our case, uh, the area of this uh, blue triangle is uh, 28. The base is X and the height is represented by lowercase uh, b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So our area has been given to us uh, 28 equals to a half times our base is x and our height is b and now in this next step x times 1 divided by 2 could be written as x divided by 2. Now let's go ahead and isolate b so therefore we are going to multiply the reciprocal of x divided by 2 that could be written as 2 divided by x on this side and I'm going to multiply by 2 divided by x on the left hand side uh, as well and we can see this 2 and 2 is gone this x and x is gone and if we simplify the left hand side our b value is going to be 56 divided by 
x so therefore i'm going to replace uh, this uh, b by this uh, 56 uh, divided by x uh, over here and here's our next step let's focus uh, on this uh, trapezoid uh, a b c d now and now we are going to calculate the total area of this uh, trapezoid by adding up all these uh, individual uh, triangles uh, area inside uh, this trapezoid in other words we're going to add 14 plus 21 plus 28 uh, plus 35 and if, if i add those one that is going to give us uh, 98 and now let's go ahead and calculate the height of this uh, trapezoid as well so this is going to be the height uh, of the trapezoid so that means uh, 4 plus uh, 56 uh, divided by x so therefore height uh, equals to 4 plus uh, 56 uh, divided by x and in this uh, next step uh, i can uh, tweak this 4 4 could be written as 4x uh, divided by x uh, to make sure we have the same uh, common uh, denominator as x so therefore uh, the right hand side could be written as uh, our common denominator is x uh, and on the numerator it could be written as 4x uh, plus uh, 56 and now we can see that 4 is uh, common between uh, 4 and 56 so therefore uh, height uh, is going to be equal to 4 factored out outside times x uh, plus uh, 14 all over uh, x so thus the height of this uh, trapezoid turns out to be this uh, one on the right hand side and now let's recall the area of a trapezoid formula area equals to height uh, h times uh, a plus b divided by 2 where a and b are the bases of this uh, trapezoid and in our case the area of this uh, trapezoid is 98 the height uh, is 4 times uh, x plus 14 divided by x and the bases of this uh, trapezoid are 7 and uh, x as well so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula in our case our area is uh, 98 equals to 1 divided by 2 outside and i'm going to write down this uh, height which is uh, 4 times uh, x plus uh, 14 all over uh, x and then uh, times uh, our bases are uh, x uh, plus uh, 7 and now in this uh, next step uh, this uh, 4 in the numerator and 2 and x uh, at the denominator can give us uh, 2 divided by x and now let's go ahead and remove this fraction by multiplying by its uh, reciprocal that means we're going to multiply x uh, divided by 2 on this side and x uh, divided by 2 on this side uh, as uh, well and here we can see they cancel uh, each other out and the left hand side is going to yield 49 x equals to this is going to give us uh, x plus uh, 14 times uh, x plus uh, 7 and now let's go ahead and do the double uh, distribution so this is going to give us uh, x square plus uh, 7x uh, plus 14x uh, uh, plus uh, 98 and here if we combine these uh, like terms uh, 7x plus 14x is going to give us uh, 21x so therefore the right hand side has become uh, after this uh, double distribution x squared plus 21x uh, plus uh, 98 and now let's go ahead and subtract 49x from both sides this is gone so we ended up with a 0 equal to x square minus 28x uh, uh, plus uh, 98 on the right hand side and this equation could be also written as by just putting 0 on the right hand side it doesn't make any difference uh, whatsoever and now we can see that this uh, is our quadratic equation and we are going to solve it by using the quadratic uh, formula and here's our well-known quadratic formula that we'll be using 
and in our case our leading coefficient uh, a equals to 1 as you can see over here b equals to negative 28 uh, and uh, c is uh, positive 98 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, quadratic formula x is going to be negative b means a negative and negative uh, 28 and then uh, positive or uh, negative square root of uh, negative uh, 28 uh, square minus 4 times a is 1 c is 98 all over 2 times a is 1 and if we simplify this one we are ended up with this one as you can see and let's focus on this square root of 392 and here i have copied it down and now we can see that this uh, 392 could be broken down to 196 times uh, 2. And if we break down these uh, radicals, square root of uh, 196 is going to give us uh, 14. So therefore, this uh, square root of 392 could be written as 14 uh, times uh, square root of 2. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have replaced this uh, square root of 392 by 14 times uh, square root 2 over here and now in this uh, next step uh, this whole uh, fraction could be written as uh, as a partial fraction as you can see over here i just wrote uh, two separately on both uh, these uh, fractions and now 28 divided by 2 is going to give us uh, 14 and here uh, 14 divided by 2 is going to reduce to 7 and now let's make an observation we are going to reject uh, this uh, negative sign because this is going to give us a uh, unrealistic answer so therefore we are going to accept only this uh, positive sign and that is going to be our x uh, value so thus our x value turns out to be 14 plus 7 times the square root of 2 units and that is approximately equal to 23.9 units Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.